Welcome back members in good standing, we're thrilled to have you join us again for another exciting update on the PSL, but before we delve into the latest news we have a quick favor to ask, if you enjoy our content and find it valuable we'd greatly appreciate your support, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel like this video, and share it with your friends and fellow enthusiasts, don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss out on our newest updates, alright let's not keep you waiting any longer, without further ado let's dive right in, today, we're delving into a significant development in South African football, the Hawks have executed a raid on the South African Football Association SAFA headquarters as part of an ongoing investigation into allegations of fraud and corruption. The Hawks Serious Commercial Crime Investigation Unit conducted the raid seizing documents, laptops and other items. The spokesperson for the SA Police Services, Colonel Mo Carle, confirmed that the operation took place on Friday morning. Colonel Mo Carle hinted that the focus of the investigation might be SAFA President Dr. Danny Jordan. Allegations suggest that between 2014 and 2018, Jordan may have misused SAFA's resources for personal gain, resulting in a reported loss of one 1.3 million rand. This raid follows earlier accusations made by SAFA National Executive Committee member Malasela Muoka. The allegations gained traction after the release of the Henderson Report, which implicated Jordan and other SAFA officials in serious corruption. The Henderson Report outlines a pattern of financial mismanagement and misuse of funds within SAFA, dating back over a decade. These allegations have far-reaching implications for SAFA's reputation and its ability to attract corporate sponsors. SAFA has vehemently denied the allegations, labeling the Henderson Report as filled with fabrications. They stress the importance of protecting the association's image to maintain sponsorships and funding for football development programs. As the investigation unfolds, the future of South African football hangs in the balance. Stay tuned to our channel for updates on this developing story. Former Morica Swallows coach Steve Compelo is making a comeback to the touchline, this time with Lamontville Golden Arrows. Let's dive into the details. That's right folks, Compelo is returning to Arrows for his second spell after previously leading the team from December 2018 to October 2020. His first stint with the club showcased his tactical prowess and ability to motivate players. Now he's back for more action. Compaler's departure from Morica Swallows earlier this year left many fans saddened. The club was facing financial turmoil, which ultimately led to his exit. It was a tough blow for Swallows, especially considering the promising start they had under his guidance. Swallows raced to fifth place in the league standings after nine games thanks to Compaler's strategic approach and the addition of talented players like Sheiko Fatso Mabasa and Andile Jali. However, despite their early success, the year 2023 ended in heartbreak for the club and its supporters. Meanwhile, the Montville Golden Arrows have been struggling on the field, enduring an 11 match losing streak under Mopati Kenyes' leadership. The team's plummet from 3rd to 12th place on the log was a cause for concern among fans and management alike. But hope is on the horizon for Arrows, as sources close to the club have confirmed that Compela has taken charge of the team's training sessions. He's been introduced as the new head coach, with Kenyes and Musa Bilan Kulu joining him as assistant coaches. This new coaching setup brings a fresh perspective and renewed energy to the squad. Arrows' next challenge awaits them as they gear up to face Polokwane City on Sunday. Will Compela's arrival be the turning point they desperately need? There you have it. The return of Steve Compela to Lamontville Golden Arrows is a story of redemption and revitalization. Kaiser Chiefs is ready to go all out in their pursuit of Cape Town City standout player Kanye Samayo. Let's dive into the details. Despite the hefty price tag attached to Mayo, Kaiser Chiefs remains undeterred in their quest to secure his services. Sporting director Kaiser Motaung Jr. has openly expressed his admiration for the 26-year-old star, signaling Chiefs' intent to bolster their squad. Talks between Chiefs and Cape Town City have already commenced, but City's chairman John Committees has firmly stated that Mayo is not for sale at the moment. However, according to report, Chiefs are unwilling to abandon their pursuit. Reports reveal that Chiefs are prepared to break the bank and potentially adjust their wage structure to bring Mayo on board. Despite the challenges posed by City's valuation of the player, Chiefs are determined to explore all avenues to secure his signature. Maya's impressive performance last season where he shared the golden boot with Sundown's Peter Shalalile further highlights his value to any team. With nine goals already this season, Maya continues to attract attention from top clubs like Chiefs. The race for Mayo's signature intensifies as the season progresses. Will Kaiser Chiefs succeed in their pursuit of this marquee PSL star? We've got some intriguing news from the Kaiser Chiefs camp. It seems that Colombian striker F. Mamjason Gonzalez is on his way out as the club prepares for the upcoming season. According to reports, Kaiser Chiefs has no intention of retaining F. Mamjason Gonzalez for the next term. Despite featuring 11 times for the Glamour Boys, Gonzalez has yet to find the back of the net. Sources indicate that the club is already looking ahead to the future, with plans to revamp the squad after a trophyless campaign. With emerging talent like Wanderlei Duba making strides in the first team, Chiefs believe they can afford to part ways with Gonzalez. It's a strategic decision by Kaiser Chiefs as they they aim to refresh their lineup and build for success in the seasons to come. While Gonzalez may be surplus to requirements now, 
His departure opens up opportunities for other players to shine. As the transfer window approaches, all eyes will be on Kaiser Chiefs to see how they reshape their squad for the challenges ahead. Will they find the right balance to return to glory? Only time will tell. The turbulent relationship between Pitsoma Siman and Mamelodi Sundowns. What went wrong between these once iconic partners and why are they now locked in a bitter legal battle? Let's uncover the truth. Masiman and Sundowns were once synonymous with success, but their partnership has soured over time. Masiman's decision to leave Sundowns in search of new challenges marked the beginning of the end for their relationship. Tensions escalated when Masiman accused Sundowns of underhanded tactics during a CAF Champions League match against his new team Al Ali. He hinted at personal vendettas and unresolved issues, leaving fans wondering about the true nature of their rift. Adding fuel to the fire, reports have emerged that Sundowns are seeking compensation from Masiman for breach of contract. The legal battle has intensified, with both parties enlisting top lawyers to fight their case. Speculation abounds that Sundowns' pursuit of compensation is linked to rumors of Masiman's potential move to Kaiser Chiefs. Whatever the truth may be, it's clear that the animosity between Masiman and Sundowns shows no signs of abating. As Masiman remains steadfast in his pride and Sundowns stand firm in their stance, the prospect of reconciliation seems unlikely. One thing's for sure, Masiman's return to Sundowns is off the table for good. Latest buzz surrounding Kaiser Chiefs as they gear up for a potential coaching shakeup. Reports suggest that an unexpected candidate, AFCON finalist Jose Pesero, is eyeing the coaching role at the club. Let's unpack the details. Kaiser Chiefs is on the hunt for a new coach, and the latest twist in the saga involves former Nigeria international coach Jose Pesero. Despite being pursued by African giants like Egypt, Pesero has reportedly expressed interest in joining the Amakosi. This news comes as a surprise to many, considering Pesero's recent success at the AFCON, where he led Nigeria to the finals, defeating Bafana Bafana along the way. If Kaiser Chiefs were to secure Pesero's services, it would be a significant coup for the club. The coaching carousel at Kaiser Chiefs has been spinning rapidly, with Arthur Zwane, Molfi Nseki and Kevin Johnson all taking turns at the helm. However, the club is now turning its attention to potential candidates like Pesero to lead them into the future. With Pesero's proven track record, and experience on the international stage, his appointment would undoubtedly raise expectations among the Amakosi faithful. Will Kaiser Chiefs succeed in luring Pesero away from other suitors? Latest transfer news as Amazulu sets a price for their coveted attacker Sepang Maremi. Both Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns are eager to secure his signature, but who will meet Amazulu's demands? Let's find out. As the next transfer window approaches, the race for talent is heating up. Mamelodi Sundowns and Orlando Pirates have been eyeing Maremi along with other targets, as they prepare to bolster their squads. Amazulu has reportedly valued Maremi at a price ranging between 10 million to 12 million rand. This hefty price tag reflects Maremi's talent and potential as he continues to impress on the field. Sources indicate that Maremi is eager for a new challenge and is ready to leave Amazulu for either Pirates or Sundowns. His loan spell at JDR Stars last season has equipped him with valuable experience, further enhancing his value in the transfer market. Now the ball is in the court of Pirates and Sundowns. Will they meet Amazulu's demands and secure Maremi's services? The clock is ticking as the transfer window draws near. We've got some thrilling news from Cape Town City as two of their players, Bryce Am Ambina and Nathan Adumba Fasika have secured loan moves to Norwegian club Valerenga. Let's dive into the details. After impressing during a two-week assessment period, Ambina and Fasika have caught the eye of Valerenga, earning themselves loan deals with the club. These moves come with options to make the deals permanent by the end of December 2024. According to reports, the duo's quick adaptation to Valerenga's playing style and environment played a crucial role in securing their moves. The club's sporting director, Joachim Johnson, expressed confidence in their abilities to contribute positively to the team. Ambina and Fasika bring a unique skill set to Valerenga adding quality and depth to the squad. With ambitions of making an immediate impact and helping the team secure promotion to the elite Syrian, the duo is set to embark on an exciting journey in European football. As Ambina and Fasika begin their new chapter in Norway, we'll be eagerly following their progress. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates and insights from the world of soccer. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for all the latest news and analysis. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep cheering for your favorite teams and remember to join us for more exciting content. See you soon.